Hello guys and welcome to the screencast, Danny here. So it's that time again for the weekly Final Cut Pro 10 tip. So in today's video, before we get into it actually, I wanted to quickly say something. Um, this week I nearly forgot to make the video and last week I forgot to make the video and made it a day late. I think the problem I'm having is I'm actually running out of ideas what to make videos on when it comes to Final Cut Pro 10. Because I've, I've covered quite a lot over the past few years. So I'm running out of ideas, but I obviously want to still make these videos because I really enjoy using the app and it's one of my favourite applications. So I definitely want to keep making them and I think my problem is I need to have a sit down and have a good think of what would be good um, tutorials. Now, if any of you guys have got any questions on Final Cut Pro 10, it would be much appreciated if you drop me a comment below and maybe I can make a video on them. Also, if you've just got any good ideas for videos relating to Final Cut Pro 10, that would be much appreciated as well. I've noticed a lot of people who comment on these videos um, are very new to the application and um, seem to be looking for just some basic help so it doesn't matter if your question is a really simple question I don't mind covering it in a video so in this video I'm going to show you how to add slow motion to your clips or even how to speed a clip up so as you can see here in my timeline I've actually got a video of an unboxing I shot the other day so if we quickly play this through you can see I've got an unboxing here and First of all, I'm going to show you how to speed a clip up, and where I think this really works well is if you've got to show um, a clip in your video which is quite boring, maybe a little bit um, not so interesting or exciting, but you've kind of got to show it for whatever reason, a good way to make it a little bit more exciting, and obviously to get the clip over and done with quicker, is by speeding it up. So I'll show you how to quickly speed it up. So I'll select the clip, like so, so it's got the yellow line around it, show it's highlighted. Then we go over to this button here, I'm not sure what this is called, but this button here to bring some op options up, and we can go down to fast and now we can choose if we want to make it twice as fast four times as fast eight times as fast or 20 times as fast so we'll go for eight times as fast this time so now we can play the clip and you can see it's much quicker and if you add maybe some fast music to the clip it can definitely make it quite entertaining so what I did want to quickly show you if we select the clip again like so if we go back to this um, button and we go normal, it puts you back to normal speed but also, I'll actually close this and show you this again if we make sure we've selected the clip and go to normal speed 100% we get this little green bar and now this, what this allows us to do is actually um, do it manually so and be a little bit, little bit more accurate how much we want to fa and make it faster so as you can see here I can bring it down um, to exact percentage I want to the exact length I want so now I'm going to show you how to slow your clips down, add slow motion to your videos. And this is going to be good for pretty much any kind of video because it's quite a cool effect. But more so if you video sports or extreme sports, things like that, um, it's a really cool effect to actually slow the action down. So it's really simple to do and you probably already guess how to do it from watching how to speed footage up. It's very similar. But there's a few pointers I do want to make on slowing footage down which is quite important. So first of all I'll show you how to do it. So just select the clip and we want to go up to this button again and then just go on to slow instead of fast and choose how much you want to slow it down so we'll go for 50% so now when we play it the footage is actually in slow motion as you can see here now this isn't the best example um, for slowing down footage you want to be doing something a little bit more exciting than this but you get the idea obviously we can grab this orange bar and um, have a little bit more manual control choosing how long we want to make the clip and how much we want to slow it down by if we select the clip again, make sure we selected it and we can hit normal again to put it back to normal. We can also grab this green bar and uh, manually choose how long we want the clip and how much, how much we want to slow it down. Now, something to bear in mind, and this is quite important in fact, if you select the clip and you go to your inspector, I've already got it opened here, but if you go to your inspector, go to info, you'll see it'll tell you what your footage is being recorded in. So my video is being recorded in HD, 1920 by 1080, but more importantly when it comes to slow motion, have a look at what actually the frame rate is. So mine's um, 29.97 frames per second, so 30 frames per second. And if you're slowing down um, footage, you really want to be recording in 60 frames. So when you're recording 60 frames, you can then um, make that footage half the speed which will then make it 30 frames per second and you'll get really nice smooth slow motion if I try and slow down a 30 frame per second clip that'll be 
to half the speed, that will be 15 frames per second. And f 15 frames per second would be quite juddery. It won't look as smooth. You can get away with it for certain types of videos, like if it's just for a YouTube video or whatever. You can get away with it. But ideally, you want to be recording your footage in 60 frames per second. For then, when you do actually slow it down, you can then make it half the speed and still get really nice 30 frames per second footage, which will, which will look smooth and look decent. So hopefully you found this tip helpful. If you have got any questions then drop me a comment and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.